Hello everyone, it's Dragon Planet here, and today we are back again with Playing Crazy. Now today, we're going to be building something different. So, for the last three videos I had been working on my giant passenger plane, however today we're going to be working on something new, and as I was thinking of an idea of what to build, I realized that even though uh, it's snowing, and like there's snow in the map, and it's winter time, we haven't really done any sort of wintry themed builds other than the landscape. So I was thinking, what if I made a snowmobile? I think that could be really cool. I don't know how it would exactly work, but it might look really cool when it's done. Now really quickly before this video begins, I want to say that, uh, hey, are you not subscribed yet? Because fun fact, if you subscribe now, you get a free flying pizza with your subscription. No, no lies, no lies, just, okay, maybe some lies, but you do, you might get a free flying pizza, I mean, Maybe, you never know, there's there's like a 50-50 chance. <laughs> so yeah, if you're not subscribed yet, go down, hit that subscribe button, it really helps me out, and uh, you'll be let know whenever there's new videos. Alright, but that's enough flying pizza for today. Let's get to building, and I'm actually going to start things a little bit differently. I usually like to build the body of my builds first, before I do anything else. However, today we're going to start with the actual skis of the snowmobile. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to make sure that I don't make it too small or I don't make it too big, I want everything to fit properly, it's going to be tough because snowmobiles are not huge vehicles and I'm really not sure how I'm going to actually make this thing move just yet, so there's a lot of thinking to be done, but uh, I don't think it should be too bad. Alright, so I'm thinking for the actual movement, the the best thing that we could possibly use is probably conveyors. I, I, I've got a feeling that that's going to be probably the way to go here. Now, I don't know, is there like half conveyors? I don't think there is. So that's gonna kinda suck. I also am being drove over by a giant missile carrier. But uh, yeah, I, I don't really know. I mean, I think something like conveyors would work, but I don't want my uh, skis to be that big. So you know what? What we're gonna do is we're going to grab some half blocks. We're gonna place these down. And how big am I going to make this? Like, uh, one, two, one, two, yeah, like, maybe that's a good, decent size for this. And then we'll set up the skis, and I, I just don't know how I'm going to get this thing to actually move. I guess I could have all the control near the back and then put, like, propellers near the front to actually turn. That might be the smartest thing to do, I would think. Alright, that's kind of what the skis are going to look like right now. I'm probably going to change that in a minute here, but uh, I'm just trying to get the idea down. Now, the hardest part about this is going to be actually getting the body to work. And, uh, I, I don't, again, I don't know if my whole controlling idea is going to work too great, but we'll see. And I'm really hoping it does work well, because if it does, then this could be a really cool controlling snowmobile. I've just, just built up, like, a, a super simple kind of mock-up of what the snowmobile is going to look like. Obviously we need to add like some body kit to it, but I just want to see if this is actually going to do anything. So that will turn that way, that will turn that way, very cool. Alright, uh, what is the default for conveyors? Oh, <laughs> well, <gasps> oh my god that works. I might not even have to use propel. Okay. That's working way better than I thought it would. Uh, not what I expected. Is there a way to go forward? Oh yeah, let's go forward. Okay. So the turning... Never mind, going forwards doesn't work so well. But I was just thinking, because as I attach some blocks on here to actually get it like hooked up, I could switch these out and uh, put some conveyors up here as well. Hopefully these are going to face the right way. Which way are these going? That's going backwards, that'll go forwards. There we go. Alright, small problem, I put them the wrong way, so I gotta do it again. Just give me one quick second here. Alright, let's try this. Uh, I just switched around some controls here. So this is going forward, and we can turn this way. Okay, cool. So this is gonna work. This is definitely gonna work. I thought I was gonna have to use, like, propellers or something to get myself to turn. But I think this should be actually fine. And I'm thinking if I make everything else out of ice might work. Yeah, I, I know the conveyors aren't exactly the fastest thing in the world. I'm going to add some more speed to this, but uh, this is what I've got so far. <laughs> it, 
<laughs> it does look quite slow though. Yeah, this does seem to actually work really cool. I didn't think that, that this would work as well as it is right now, so I, I must say I am pleasantly surprised. But uh, the turning, not exactly the greatest thing in the world, still need to kind of work on that. But uh, we're getting there, and for like a, a base first test, this turned out amazing. More than I could have asked for. So yeah, I just tried adding some suspension. I, I don't know if this is going to do anything or make this any smoother at all. I just want to see if it does anything. And uh, it, <laughs> it's pretty funny. I think that's so cool that it's actually working. Okay, because I've actually never seen a, a snowmobile in this game yet. Surprisingly, I haven't seen one. So, right now I'm kind of working off of intuition, guessing, and just hoping things are going to function properly. Okay, uh, I've just got some very basic stuff put together here. I just want to see if this is going to actually break anything horribly. I don't think it should. I just want to get a quick test in here. And yeah, this is still fine. Nothing is freaking out, so that's always a good thing. And actually, the turning seems to be a bit sm Okay, that's fine. That's okay. We can <laughs> figure that out. It's, it's just a suspension that's really bouncing it around a little bit here. Yeah, I might, I might have to remove the suspension. Although we can do really sick flips in a vehicle that doesn't exactly do flips. But uh, hey, that's <laughs> we're like flying in this thing. That is not what we're supposed to be doing. Uh, that's fine. Now, I won't lie that I'm a little bit unsure of exactly what I want to do for the overall shape of it. Uh, I, I haven't seen a snowmobile in quite a while, so I'm mostly just working off of memory here and uh, trying to think of like something like an Articat or something like that to uh, put together. But I just don't remember what the shape kind of looks like. I've got an idea. It's just not a fully formed idea. So, uh, I may have encountered a new problem. Never seen this one before, but I really don't think that my main snow track is supposed to be that far away from the snowmobile. Just a guess. Just a, a wild guess. Alright, but uh, for the most part, things are looking pretty good. I am going to take out the suspension for now. I, I could add that back in eventually, but it just doesn't seem to be working too great. So instead, we're going to take some half wedges and go uh, boom right there and boom right there. And then take a half block and put it right here and right there. There we go. All right, so I've been changing some things around. I've been working near the back to try to make it look a little bit more interesting. Uh, I, I've changed the place where you, like your feet would go, and I'm still working at the front. I'm not happy with the front. I need to change this up. So actually, you know what? I'm going to remove this, and we're just going to do a complete overhaul on the front and try to make this look much, much better. All right, so I changed up some things. I messed around with the front a bit, changed the way that the skis kind of work, and I just want to make sure that everything is still in working order after I've changed so much stuff. So let's, oh my god, the lag is insane. Good god. <laughs> I, I think there, there's a few people lagging the server just a touch. Uh, yeah, I can't get around everything that's on my plot. It's kind of impossible. You know what? We're just going to go off the edge. Why not? All right, so this is what I've got done for the snowmobile so far. Uh, the glass is probably the one part that I'm not happy with just yet. Trying to figure out a way to do it is kind of difficult because... There's not a whole lot of room to work with up there, but uh, I'll keep trying a few more things and hopefully I can come to some sort of conclusion. Okay, so this is what I have for the glass right now. Now I'm not totally happy with it. I'm gonna see about maybe changing up uh, the sides right in here just a bit. I, I don't know. I, I'm just testing out a few things. I wanna make this look as good as I possibly can. It's just really hard because there's not exactly a whole lot of room to work with here. The glass is the one part that I'm having a hard time really nailing down. So I think I'm just going to go with what I've got here right now because the more that I mess with it, the more things change and I just, I, it'll have to do for now. I think if I were to actually go back and do like a whole bunch of motor locking, which I'm not going to do because I do not have the time to do it tonight. Uh, if I were to go back, do a whole bunch of motor locking, I'm sure I could make it look a little bit more appealing in the glass area, but as far as everything else looks, I think it looks really good. 
and it functions fine, just, uh, not terribly great when we actually head out over into the actual, like, snow area. It gets a little bit bouncy for some reason, but that's mostly to do with the conveyor belts, and, uh, there's not really a whole lot I can do about that. Alright, so there we go. This is my snowmobile. Uh, not exactly the perfect build, that's for sure. Still needs a lot of work. I, I'd never actually seen one of these built in the game before, so I wanted to give it a try, and I can see why not many people make them. It is actually extremely difficult to get the shape down, and, uh, even trying to, like, make it smaller I think would be extremely difficult. But, uh, hey, if you've made one of these before, I would love to see it. So, if you don't know, we have a Discord server. It should be in the... a link to it in the description if you want to join. But I would love to see an actual, like, really good-looking snowmobile because this build I don't think a whole lot of people make. I, I just... I can't remember a single time that I've seen it. So, I'd like to see one, but, uh... Who knows? Maybe I'm the only one who've made one so far. I'd like to see somebody else with like a little bit more skill than myself build this one because I think a snowmobile would be really cool. It's just so difficult to get like the shape down and there's just a lot of like different curved edges and just different angled surfaces. If I were to build like a much older snowmobile it would be a lot easier, but I tried to go for a newer model one. And yeah, that's extremely difficult. Alright guys, but yeah, that's really all I've got for this little video. Uh, hopefully it gave you guys an idea of something new to build, something definitely very difficult to give a try. I'm just happy that this thing is actually functioning and uh, it, it works pretty good. It, it slips around quite a bit, but uh, for the most part, it does work pretty well, and uh, I think that is really cool. But yeah, guys, that's really all I've got for this video. Uh, if you have any building ideas, let me know down in the comments below. I'm always looking for cool building ideas. I've still got a huge list of stuff that I'm trying to complete, but hey, I want to know what you guys would like me to give a try to. So hey, if you do have an idea, let me know down in those comments, and uh, yeah, that's really all I've got for this one. So hey, if you guys like this video, feel free to give it a like. Comment and subscribe. And as always, guys, it's Dragon Platinum signing out. Peace out, guys. Bye.